Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you all those little jobs and chores around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today what we're going to do is we are going to change a light switch from one color to another. Now, there's multiple reasons why you want to do that. Uh, maybe the light switch doesn't work. Maybe you painted the room and you said, I don't want a black light switch anymore. I want a white one. And that's what we're doing today. So let me move this over here so we can get a better view of what we're doing. There. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is, that's right, turn off the electric because we don't need that. You don't need to be going, you know, so that's not going to be good. So the second thing that we're going to do is we are going to take off the cover, the switch cover. It really is just two screws and it's not that big of a deal. Now, again, this is for the basic person to do this. This is just a switch from one color to another. We're switching from this black one to this white one. This is a mock-up that's here. There's actually no electricity going through here. This is just a demonstration. Um, once you get inside of here and you say to yourself, wow, there's the wires are really old or wow, there's, there's multiple wires in here and I don't know what I'm doing, or you just don't feel comfortable doing it, get yourself someone who's got the knowledge, maybe an electrician, maybe someone who's done this kind of work before and feels, feels comfortable with it. But the baseline is, is cut off the electricity, make sure that this operates nothing at that point so you can touch everything and not get uh, zapped but what we're going to do is just a very simple show you how to take one off and, and replace it with another uh, like I said before sometimes the black isn't a, a popular color maybe maybe you would rather have the white one and maybe the light switch doesn't work anymore because sometimes the cheaper they are, they, they, have a, they have a lifespan too. So let's go ahead and take off the, uh, let's take this off and it's just two screws. They're long, they're very threaded, so they take some time to undo. And this is, we're using our Phillips head screwdriver that we looked at before in one of our other videos about uh, buying tools for your tool bag for your house. And this one is the one that you can take apart. And it's got four screwdrivers in this. And like I said, it's about three bucks. All right, so this is just about ready to come out. There we go, and there we go, and boom, here it is. All right, so there's, there's the light switch itself. It's got two, two screws on this side here. They're both brass because both wires going to it are black. Over here, we have the green, the green screw, and that's because it's the ground, green ground. Black wire on brass, black brass, black brass. Okay. Now what you're typically going to do is replace exactly the way you took it off. Replace exactly the way you took it off. So in this case, we're going to follow the instructions doing that. We're going to take, unscrew the green and we're going to take off the ground. And we're going to push it over to the side, just like that. See that? We'll push it off to the side. Then we're going to turn this and we're going to take off the top wire. Okay. Let's 
Okay, now I'm not taking the screw out all of the way. It doesn't need to come out all the way. It needs to come out enough to let the wire loose. I took that one off. I put it up over here. I'm going to take this one off now. Unscrew this out to a certain point, And then it will let loose. And here comes... And there you go. So now what I did was, and I flipped these wires up like this because the green is here, up here. This one goes to here. This one goes to here. So you know the black one is no good anymore, but the white one is good. And it's got the same configuration. The green up here, two brass screws here. It's going to go in exactly the same way. Now, sometimes the ground is down here. So don't worry about that. Ground has no electricity going to it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. All right. So how are we going to put it back together? Exactly the way that we took it apart. Let's put the ground in first. Okay. I put the ground wire in, and I'm going to screw it into place. Until it's nice and snug. I'm not welding it down and turning it so we can see the other parts. Okay, we took this wire off next, so we're going to put it on. All right, so here we go. And it is on. So let's now put the other black wire on. And it is on. You just did it. Look at that. Three wires. The black one came off, the white one came on, and everything is exactly the way it was before. Once we put this back in place, it's going to work just fine because you did it exactly the way you were supposed to. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. Put this right back in. Doesn't take much to do. And the last thing that we do is we make sure that everything is nice and straight up and down. And then we put on the cover. Put the cover back on. The cover, they're, they're, they are universal. The whole, the whole lineups are universal with all... Uh, all switches and outlets. So whatever whatever cover you put on, it's going to fit. Let's thread this guy back in. There we go. I'm trying to do it so you can see it. There it is. There it is. Okay, I know my hand's in the way, but it's there. All right, so now some of these outlet covers are plastic, and some of them say on the package that they're unbreakable. Okay, so the unbreakable ones are nice because they have a little bit of flexibility to them. Some of the plastic ones, you tighten these things too tight, and they will actually put a crack in it. So you just got to be careful with that, okay? And that's it. You did it. Everything is done. Now, taking a light switch off and putting a new one on is, is really very, very simple. The, the last thing you do is you go and you put the, snap the breaker back on, you test all the lights and make sure that the switch actually works, and I'm sure that it will. But there's going to be times when you're going to run into an older house that's got wires that have cloth around them. Those are, that's the old type of wiring. 
or the wiring is very fragile, or there's not enough wiring in there to do what you're doing, or you might pull the wire out and the wire snaps in your hand. Then what do you do? So those are the kinds of things that you really got to watch out for. Those are the kinds of things you might want to say, do I feel comfortable doing this? Something new like this, that's going to be one of the um, newer homes. And yeah, even newer homes, they have light switches that break or you want a different color because you painted the room a different color. Um, they, the, the wiring is sufficient on the inside. It's not going to snap in your hand. It's good quality stuff and it's going to work out just fine. So in this particular case that it's new, this is the basic way of doing it. This is not how all of them are, are set up. A lot of them are, but not all of them. So if you got a newer home and you and something maybe less than 30 years old, you're going to run into something like this and it's going to be fine. Um, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Try it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how and practice. And take your time and practice. Thank you very much. If you would, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.